friends, Ingrid Aria here. Happy Tuesday. Yes, I have the right thing. Okay, today I'm in my green, so you know what that means. Um, we're on to the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, Anahata chakra. So chakras, we're saying, are energy centers. Um, again, while you can think of them as places of the body, they're really um, for you to get more familiar to get the idea to connect with something that's more abstract, it doesn't mean, oh, your heart chakra, which represents love, is only found here. You can feel love everywhere. Um, and, and same goes for all the other chakras, but really it's just to get an idea and a connection with something that's really a more abstract concept. So fourth chakra, heart chakra, anahata chakra. Anahata in Sanskrit is unstruck, unbeat. Um, which is really interesting because you can think of, you know, after a certain stage in life, at a certain age, does your heart feel like it's been unstruck or does it feel like it's been struck before? Something to think about. We'll go into a little bit more. The heart center um, is represented by the element of air. So you think of air as being something that's flowing. Um, there's an incoming and an outcoming. Uh, there's circulation, ventilation. There's openness receptivity and giving, circulation. Um, the systems of the body that are connected with the heart chakra are your cardiovascular system and your respiratory system. Uh, I love the image of um, my heart as kind of a fire and my lungs on either side, which your heart is, is sitting in between your lungs. You know, the, the lungs are really like the fan, the wings that help to fan off the heat of passion of the, fi of the heart, okay? So there is a relationship there with heart and lungs. Um, <clears throat> your heart is also really protective, right? It's within a pericardium, uh, which is really a protective case for the heart. It has its own nervous system that speaks with the brain. So when you feel a heart intuition, when you have a feeling about something um, that you can sense, even though you can't necessarily um, put a name to it, it's not coming from your brain, it's coming from your emotional self, it's legitimate. Okay, something I wanna explore a little bit today is there's so much in the, in the world, especially the yoga world or the healing world, just about love and love is all and just love more and like love is the answer and it's beautiful. Why not, right? Does your love include no? Is your love only yes? This is what I want to explore, especially for those of us that tend to be other-oriented, those of us in, in service, those of us that if you're, you know, um, the giver of your family, the provider of your family, for your family, excuse me, um, you want to think about this because sometimes we give out, we dole out a lot of yeses <clears throat> to others and, and that means no for self. So does your yes ever come back to you? And that means love is also about having healthy boundaries, and it also includes no. So this world, you know, it's not, um, it's not only about one way, right? One way is totalitarianism, it doesn't include everybody. Um, everybody's voice needs to be heard. So that means there's gotta be a no with a yes, right? We're not living in a, a black or white world, there's gotta be inclusivity. So, <clears throat> An exercise we can explore today and, and really forever is when you're giving out and someone asks you a question, you can take a moment, you don't always have to, you know, unless it's like a life um, emergency, you can take a moment, even a business day to respond and first of all, feel, do you feel is there an expansion, you want to give that yes, is there also a constriction, like you want to say no, does Saying yes to them mean no for you. So feel it in your body, don't think it. You, you can think it afterwards, but this exercise is to really connect more with feeling your emotional self. And also um, to explore how many yeses in your day are you giving out that go out but don't come back in? How many times do you say yes to someone else and that means no for you? Um, and is that your habit, is that your instinct? Maybe you're the opposite, and maybe it's a lot of yes for self and a lot of no for others. So it's not to judge, it's not one's right or wrong, it's just to begin to explore. 
what is your natural habit and your tendency, um, which could be something that you've learned, that you've picked up, that you saw modeled. So we're just exploring. Um, and that also can be something that we bring into our asana practice on the mat um, for our heart center. Really, you're focusing on the area of your upper back, your upper and your middle back, neck, can get there, um, we'll go there more with our next chakra though. And also breathing practices for sure. But if you happen to sit in a lot or you drive a lot and you notice that your posture is a little bit here, a little bit collapsed, shoulders and head are far forward of the rest of you, um, you'll want to explore some back bends and some, even before you get to back bends, bring yourself to a place of neutral and just find length. You can do that in seated poses and standing poses to find some kinds of length. Um, and then to explore some openness. So you can work on twisting. That's a wonderful way to increase lung capacity, to get bigger, deeper breaths without efforting. Um, you want to explore lengthening in this space and bringing more breath into this area. Breath work is easiest to begin if you're new to it, to pranayama, lying down. Then you can move it to sitting up. Let's start lying down if you're new to pranayama. If you have questions about what kind of breath work um, to explore, if you have any questions about the hot heart chakra, um, let me know. Do you know that you're, are you a yeser? Are you a knower? Um, also, if you want to learn more about yogic wisdom like this and, and really how to bring it into your lifestyle, into your Western lifestyle, I teach yoga teacher trainings as well as special workshops. I have some coming up, so send me a message with your contact information if you want to hop on a free call with me and see how you can study with me and bring more of this incredible yogic wisdom into your modern day life to really increase the quality, upgrade your quality of living in your day to day life without bending over backwards and transforming everything, but your standards for life um, your comfort level and really just bringing enhancement to that with more conscious living with really accessible exercises so be in touch if this video spoke with you like it love it share it today again remember we're exploring the heart chakra and that is energetically between collarbones and a little bit lower not the place of your physical heart actually but here the energetic center you can always just put your heart there to connect more with it Close your eyes, go in, connect with your breath, explore your yeses and nos. Do your yeses come back to you? Does your yes going out mean no coming in? Explore, play around with it, and have a wonderful day.